In this case, we've got here molality. Is that all right? And then here, we've got the molecule, which tells us actually I. So for example, I here is 2, because it's potassium and fluorine. Skip that one for a second. Here's 2. Magnesium and sulfate, here's 2. Sodium and chlorine, here's 1, because it's organic. It doesn't ionize. This one, uh, this is going to be between 1 and 2 somewhere, because it's not a strong electrolyte, so it doesn't totally separate out into solution. OK, so we have, uh, now we want to figure out something about the, which one has the lowest freezing point? Well, freezing point has to do with this kind of formula here. We have I, we have M. Uh, we want to find delta T. Basically, which whatever one has the largest delta T is going to be the one with the lowest freezing point because it's dropping the most below the freezing point. Okay, K. How? What are we? K is for each of these. Solvent. The same. Is the same because it has to do with the solvent. These are all aqueous, so K has to do with the solvent, not the solute, and that's water when it's aqueous. So K is the same for all five of these situations because they're all aqueous. So all I'm going to do is multiply I and M. I are these values here, M is this value right there. Whichever one gives me the largest number, that's going to be uh, my answer. Is that okay? So it looks like I'm going to get four, uh, I'm going to get three, two, 2.5 looks like it's probably the first one. Is that all right? Yeah. 